an in-person Apple event, sort of. Good morning, and welcome back to the Steve Jobs Theater. After a brief welcome from CEO Tim Cook, a pre-recorded presentation with a heavy emphasis on the life-enhancing aspects of Apple products, the best photos and videos, better health and safety. iPhone 14 comes in two sizes with last year's processor, but an upgraded camera. Starting price remains $800. Your selfies are gonna look better on this smartphone because for the first time on the iPhone 14, they now have autofocus on the front facing camera. iPhone 14 Pro has a new faster processor inside and comes in two sizes. This is the iPhone 14 Pro. You can tell by this pill shape at the top of the screen there. And on the back, you've got a brand new 48 megapixel camera. And always on display lets you see the time, date, and other information 24 seven. So right now, the screen is off. You can tell that it's on. When I tap it, it comes to life. Apple calls the pill-shaped sensor area at the top a dynamic island, displaying little bits of information. And you can tap to bring up the app that it is displaying information about. Starting price for the 14 Pro is $1,000. Both phone models have a GoPro-style action cam mode, which produces steady video even when you're moving. Speaking of action, a new $800 Apple Watch Ultra is the ultimate rugged sports watch with a bigger display, louder speaker, and 36-hour battery life. Scroll up on the digital crown here and the entire display turns red, which is much easier on the eyes at night. All the new iPhones ditch the physical SIM card for an eSIM, a digital version of your cell phone plan. The new phones also detect car crashes and call for help. A satellite SOS mode can send and receive messages in areas without a cell signal, but it can take 15 seconds to a few minutes to work. The first two years of this new service are included free.